everyone welcome back to my channel so let's jump into these messages and see what the universe wants you to know um, when it comes to this mercury retrograde so mercury is retrograding in the sign of capricorn and we're talking about discipline and responsibility what needs to change and in what way is what some of you may be feeling and thinking and you may be also feeling and thinking well like how is this change going to benefit me okay what can i look forward to so that's what we're going to be talking about in this reading we're going to get some love messages we're going to get some tarot and we're also going to get some cards for your finance and career okay so we have good choices expect a positive outcome from the good choices you have made in the past. So something you're doing or something that you're working on where you may feel like it's going unnoticed is not. The universe sees it. We also have golden moment. A blessing is on its way. An important door is opening for you that will make you very happy. All right, so we have prelude. You may feel not much is happening. However, the path you are on now is leading you to something very great. So I'm hearing don't stop doing what you're doing if when it comes to like um, your finance, your career, um, you're making a move in the right direction, but you may not feel like it because you may feel stagnant. Things may feel slow, like um, you're not reaching your goal, but the universe is saying keep keep moving, keep pushing forward. We have rebuilding, reevaluate your life and adjust to thrive in your new circumstances. Focus on what you can control and leave the rest to the universe. So there's something here that you may be trying to control and you're like, okay, it's getting on my nerves. I can't seem to make it work. Whatever it is, it's out of your control. And the universe is just saying control what you can and the rest, don't worry about it. We also have next level. If you leave your comfort zone, you will see accelerated growth and change. Yeah, see, I just talked about that. Discipline and responsibility. What needs to change in your life and in what way and how can it benefit you? So a lot of you will be making lifestyle changes, whether in love um, and finances or in both. So some of you are changing up the way you do things or you're just tired of things being slow, being stagnant. You're not getting anywhere. Some of you, I'm feeling like this is pertaining to a business and for others, it could be love. Maybe there's a relationship that you've been in for quite some time and you're like, okay, when are we going to go to the next level? Are we getting married? Are we getting engaged? Like, what are we going to do? You may be questioning, like, is this all that is going to become of this relationship that I'm in with this person? Because they may not be talking about anything. They may be very comfortable where you guys are, but I feel like you're not. We also have protection. Prote protect your energy and guard yourself against the people and things that drain you. So someone could be draining your energy. Maybe you've told this person what you wanted time and time again, and they're not doing anything to make changes. So you may feel like you have to make changes. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectives? What do they need to know? What can they expect from this Mercury retrograde? All right, so we have wide open, hidden secrets, and planning phase. We also have bad gossip. People are gossiping behind your back, and it would be wise to be careful with your actions right now and what you tell people. Be careful of um, what you say around certain people because they may not have your best interest at heart. And we have wide open. The path before you is clear. Your desires and intentions are supported by the universe. There's no blocks. So I'm hearing, what are you waiting for? There's something that you need to be doing, something that you need to be working on that's going to um, help you get to where you need to be. We also have hidden secrets, careful of superficial appearances or making decisions without all facts. Some of you may have your eye on somebody and you don't have all of the facts of the situation, but you know something's not right. And so you may call this person up and curse them out or you may text them and curse them out or say something. And the universe is saying, wait till you get all the facts. There is secrets. There is something being hidden. But before you jump to conclusions, it would be wise to get all of the information first. So it's sort of like I'm hearing do your homework. 
Yeah, because the next card is planning phase. Take a step back and plan the necessary steps to move forward so you may turn your goals into a reality. All right, so I feel like this has something to do with love. And this one may have something to do with a business or a job. Maybe you're trying to change jobs. Yeah, because it says take a step back and plan the necessary steps to move forward. I'm hearing with this planning phase is um, some of you want to get out of a job so bad that you may take the first thing that comes along. The universe is saying, think about that before you do. And make sure that it's the right decision for you. All right, we're going to get one more. So we have between worlds. There is one reality that is slowly dying to the one. What? There is one reality that is slowly dying to the one still waiting to be born. I swear this card is what is <laughs> you're between. It's like there's a relationship that's dying off. Some of you may have a choice between two people. You either have a choice between two people. Or um, the universe is pushing you out of one relationship so that one, so another one can come in. Yeah, because right behind that, we have helpful change. Oh, that card just slipped right out of my hand. You will navigate through change successfully by allowing the universe to assist you when you need it the most. Some of you are trying to make your mind up about something here. And you're so, sort of stuck about what to do. Like you keep going back and forth. Okay. Um, let's jump into some other messages here. And then we'll get some tarot cards. Spare what messages does the collective needs to know for this Mercury retrograde? What can they expect? What's coming in for them? changes do they need to make why am i hearing some of you are making big changes in 2024 and it may not involve your person it's like you're not even discussing it with them and it may make them feel some type of way somebody's going to tell you that they love you okay yep we have cleanup argumentative somebody may try to call and argue with you and you may be pulling away from someone because they keep they're they're keeping you private. You're like no more private. Like why don't your family know about this relationship? Why don't your friends know about us? You're tired of being this person's private boyfriend, girlfriend or, or partner basically. You're tired of being a private partner. You're like why is things so private? I feel like for some of you, this person may go hang out with their friends and they may not invite you or they may go to family functions and you don't get invited because possibly an ex is there, an ex-wife or an ex-husband or a baby mom is there or a baby father that, you know, the family is used to being around. And you're like, what about me? We also have stuck, um, you're stuck at a crossroads as what to do about the situation because... This person calling you, arguing you, it's showing that it's like they're showing attention to you, but I just feel like it's not the attention that you want, of course, because you don't want this person calling you or texting you, arguing with you. It says they love to argue and create drama where there is none. And what they should be handling and taking care of, they're not. Some of you are stuck at a crossroads, whether now is the time for you to just leave and go in a different direction. We have clean up, cleaning up life, making healthy choices, cutting out the negativity. So this is what you're doing. And I feel like this person is not picking up on it. But you've told them time and time again about how you feel. And they may come in trying to, um, you know, persuade you to stay or get you to change your mind about how you feel by telling you that they love you. Or they may text you this. Spare what messages do you have for the collective for this Mercury retrograde? What do they need to know? What can they expect? All right, so this just slid out of the deck. Some of you can expect an apology from this person. Yeah, they're deciding that they don't want to move on or they can't move on. 
that's because you're not doing anything right now is to sit this out. Something is not quite right. Wait a little longer before taking action. So yeah, you're just holding back from this person. You're not taking action, but I feel like it's making them feel some type of way. It says, I can't move on no matter how hard I try and bad choices. So this person makes a lot of bad choices when it comes to this relationship and you're just tired of it. You're fed up. And someone may try to apologize to you or they have already, but it's not. You're like, it, your apology, I'm hearing your apology doesn't mean anything to me if you're not going to change your behavior. And this may be something that you say to this person. We also have communication. Be open to receiving messages right now. It's important to communicate clearly and honestly. So the universe is saying, don't hold back. Let this person know what's on your mind. You're tired of somebody playing dumb. They play dumb or pretend they don't understand what you want from them. This is a form of manipulation. And so you could be giving this person the cold shoulder and not wanting to hear what they have to say. So some of you may be ignoring your person right now. So what messages do you have? For the collectives, what can they expect when Mercury retrograde? Okay, somebody is going through the dark night of the soul here. We have your twin flame could be experiencing a dark night of the soul, a period of spiritual desolation. The card just slipped right out of my hand. <laughs> a period of spiritual desolation, disconnection, and emptiness inside. So somebody may be holding back from you and then you're reaching out to this person, asking them what's wrong, and they're like, nothing. And you're like, okay, so if nothing's wrong, then why haven't I heard from you? Why when I text you, you don't text me back? Or why is our conversation so short? I fact, this person's going through something they don't want to tell you, they don't want to discuss it. You don't want to talk about it. They may feel like you can't help. Or they're just in a bad space right now. I'm hearing something about money and they're feeling all alone. This person may have been put out of their home. Or maybe they, they need family or someone to have their back. And they may feel like they're doing something by themselves. Like they're alone in something and no one can help. All right. So we have miracles. I know you lost hope in us, but I'm going to surprise you. And we have hurtful events. As you endure this period, learn not to dwell on the past so it won't anchor you down. The universe is wanting um, something that you're hurt about. The universe is saying, try not to let this weigh you down. But I feel like it is for some of you because you're you're like, you don't understand what's going on with your person. But the caution, um, the caution card is here. So the universe is cautioning you about something. Okay, let me just talk about this right quick because I'm picking up so many messages here. With the caution and then the grudge card. You may be holding a grudge against someone that's not talking to you right now. Simply because you don't know everything that's going on with this person. It's not your fault, though, because this is somebody who won't speak up and tell you what they're going through because it's either embarrassing or they just don't want you to know. So they, they may be trying to keep secrets from you. But it's causing you to hold a grudge because you're like, okay, if you're not going to tell me what's going on, like, how am I supposed to know how to react? So some of you may be reacting in a certain way because you don't know what else to do about the situation. And because they're not speaking up, like, that's not your fault. But it's like you're going to hold a grudge against them because of it. I feel like you're going to find out something here. Or you're being cautioned like to um to sort of wait and see and not hold a grudge against this person. This is only for those of you who don't really know like if you know what this person is up to then this is not your message but this is for those of you who you haven't spoken to this person and maybe they went quiet all of a sudden i feel like something more is going on with them than you know and i don't feel like this particular situation is involving a third party this is something different this may be involving money issues or um a, a job loss or something
but i feel like whatever this is this dark night of the soul it's like the universe is trying to awaken this person about their life and the changes they need to make so that they can stop like having these situations happen to them all right let's get one more and then we're gonna jump into the crown spirit give me one more for the collectives what do they need to know whoa okay i know i said one more right i always say one more <laughs> and then like after i shuffle and i see the cards i'm like nope we gotta talk about this all right so we have reconciliation unsent messages missing you and phone call so someone wants to call you and reckon they want to call you and reconcile the situation but i feel like they want to sort of figure out what are you feeling and thinking I feel like this is somebody who wants to text you, but they may type up a text and not send it. They either feel like it's too much, you're not going to get it. Like you may not get what they're saying. Or they don't want to be emotional. Somebody needs to come out of their pride and their ego and just tell you what they're feeling. I feel like the universe is sort of pushing this person into doing this so that this can get cleared up we have expression of interest wanting to talk communication is key i never missed anyone in my life as much as i miss you and i've written you several texts but in the end i chicken out so somebody wants to reconcile with you and they could be holding back um they could be possibly waiting for you to talk first but because you're not talking you're not saying anything they feel like they have to um they have to break the silence i'm here and i have to break the silence somebody has to talk they may feel like you're being petty on purpose and maybe you are maybe you feel like you have a right to to be petty with this person because of how they've been treating you spare what messages do you have for the collective what do they need to know all right so we have partnership and watching you the truth some of you are going to get the truth about this person you know why <laughs> you know why you're gonna get the truth about this person because you're showing them that you're unbothered even if you're bothered you're showing them that you're not and they're worried i'm worried that it might be too late to make things right between us and then we have truth speak with honesty what is hidden will come to light so some of you're going to find something out about this person or you're going to find out what they're truly feeling and we have watching you. They miss you, but they feel safer watching you from a distance. A significant relationship is about to be forged that will assist you in expanding your growth. So the universe is bringing somebody towards you, whether it's this person who's worried that things are over and that they can't fix this because they messed up too many times, or this could be someone new. It's gonna be different for everyone of course take it heart resonates yeah all right so let's jump into some tarot and let's see what else the universe wants you to know okay so let's see spirit what messages do you have for the collective for this mercury retrograde what can they expect what is their person feeling and thinking nine of swords energy okay so someone is stressed out about what's happening between the two of you this could be you or your person take your heart resonates this person may even be blaming you for things that's going on here not fully taking responsibility for their part that they're playing in the situation spare what messages do you have for the collectors oh okay so we do have the two of cups though with the eight of swords some of you are trying to figure out if you still love this person enough to reconcile with them because you feel like things aren't stable with the four of wands reversed. This could be a marriage for some of you. You may have known this person for quite some time. You were with them for years, maybe six or more. Some I'm hearing 10 years. Some of you have 10 years in with this person. But you don't know if you can take this anymore. But the two of cups is here. So I feel like the universe is saying this is a situation that can be worked out. If you guys want to reconcile with the Six of Cups being here, but you're asking yourself, 
is it time to actually walk away from this or should you still be trying to to make this work or putting the work in here someone is definitely going to come towards you and tell you that they love you i feel like this person is afraid to lose you with the nine of swords coming out here they never thought or saw this going the way it is in the direction that it's going <clears throat> my throat chakra is blocked here so someone is not speaking up we have the hangman and the seven of pentacles yeah they feel like you guys have come too far to just let this go but i feel like they're not telling you that they may be waiting for you to speak up and tell them what you're feeling and thinking with the seven of pentacles here they still want to work on this they feel like they've invested themselves into the situation somebody is seeing this as every time you guys go through something you say it's over or maybe it's your person that says it's over somebody here wants to stop doing that I do see delays with the hangman, possibly with the Pisces. And the full card. So we have a new beginning, new start with an Aries. So some of you could be a Pisces dealing with an Aries here. You're hurt by this person with the three of swords. And I feel like some of you are letting this person know this. You could have gotten into an argument with them. And now they're not saying anything with the four swords. So this person may be healing or getting over something you said to them. Or this is you getting over something that your person um, said to you. Because the eight of wands is here. So I feel like some messages were going back and forth. Possibly between you um, and an air sign. A Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Some knight of swords is here. And somebody said something and you're like, I don't know if I can forgive them. Or maybe you set something here with this Knight of Swords. You felt whatever you felt was on your heart, you spoke up about something. And this person got some hurt feelings behind it. Somebody's feelings here is hurt. Oh. <laughs> You're like, I could care less though. You're like, this person isn't changing. So you don't care about this person's hurt feelings? So if you're dealing with an earth sign, a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. So some of you are an earth sign dealing with an earth sign here. Do you see this energy? All right. So what I'm seeing is cancer energy here. So you could be a cancer dealing with a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. Or you, a, you are a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn dealing with another earth sign. Whatever the energy is here, we also have Scorpio. Take it how it resonates for you, okay? However it fits your situation. But you're like, nah, I'm too, like, I'm too, um, I'm too good to be dealing with this. The Nine of Pentacles is here. You're feeling like you're sitting here dealing with this other person and you're like, I could have somebody else who actually wants to be with me, who loves me, who shows me attention and who's going to show up. In this connection because i'm seeing the king of pentacles reverse and the queen of pentacles reverse so it's like you're not willing to change for this person and they're not willing to change for you and it has to be a compromise here at some point you're fed up with this person they may be feeling like they're fed up with you it's like you're wanting them to change they're wanting you to change your views upon something and I just feel like with the Nine of Pentacles here, you're like, no, I'm not because I know who I am. I know what I bring to the table. Some of you are like, shit, I am the table. <laughs> like, it don't matter what you bring because I'm doing fine on my own. And either you want to be in this relationship with me or you don't. So some of you are just confused on which direction things are going in with the chariot reversed. And with the death card reversed, there's a change here that needs to happen. And I feel like both of you are disappointed in each other. But you're refusing to accept an ending here. Things are just at a standstill. Spare, what messages do you have for the collective? What can they expect when this Mercury retrograde from their person and their situation? Okay, 
tower moment here, but there's still love. We have the lovers, the tower, the page of swords, the moon, and the knight of cups. All right, so you're going to get through this, this situation. Whatever this bad, chaotic arguments all the time, a sudden change, I feel like somebody is just getting on your nerves. So you may feel like, okay, this person is just getting on my nerves right now. Every time they say something, it irritates me. You know, arguments are coming out of nowhere. And neither one of you know why it's happening. Some of you could be a Gemini dealing with a Pisces or a Gemini dealing with an Aries. Somebody is feeling bad about... Um, with the five of cups here. I don't want to say feeling bad. Maybe somebody is regretful. They feel like they, they're they mourning this loss. Maybe because you told this person that it's over. And they feel like you're serious this time. Because I see someone coming back in with the Knight of Cups energy. Doing the walk of shame. Like they're shameful. Like okay, it's it's come to an ending. These arguments. They may feel like they're at fault here. Somebody is going to speak up about, okay, like, I get it. I know I'm at fault. I know you're tired of what's going on. I'm sorry. Because this is someone who still has their eye on you with the Page of Swords. Could be a younger air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. They don't know what's going on with you because we have the Page of Swords facing the moon. So this person's like, okay, I got to come in and show love and emotion and attention so we can come out of this energy. There is still love here, though. This could even be a twin flame that you're dealing with. Where I don't, I feel like um, you guys are looking at the situation like things have gotten really bad between us. All we do is argue. And I feel like now, particularly in the last couple of weeks, all you guys have been doing is arguing with each other. Or And if you're not arguing with each other, you're just ignoring each other. Nobody's saying anything. And I feel like this person is like, okay, it's time to fix this. Let's get one more. Yep, the Ten of Wands. For some of you, it's the King of Cups here. Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Dealing with an air sign. I'm picking up a lot of Gemini Pisces energy here. Or Aquarius Pisces energy. You fight this person's keeping secrets with the High Priestess. The universe is saying, trust your intuition. Because whatever you're feeling, whatever your gut is telling you, your gut feeling is telling you, trust it. Um, there's a water sign here that feels like no, no matter what they do, they can't make you happy. I also feel like someone is, is going to say they're going to change their ways. Um... To sort of get things back on track but you may not take them serious you may not trust in it okay so i do see changes here with a libra some of you are a gemini or a virgo dealing with the libra and there are some changes coming with this situation in 2024 um with the five of pentacles here there is a five some of you are dealing with a leo so we have the Queen of Wands reversed with the Sun, male or female energy. The cards are not gender based, but if this Leo is leaving you out in the cold, it may be hard to manifest with this person because I feel like you guys are on two different pages and you feel like they're treating you unfair with the Justice card reversed, but there is some changes coming with the Wheel of Fortune. It could be a fixed sign for some of you, and Leo is a fixed sign. Um, Leo is a fixed sign, Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio. I'm just trying to see what, like, what's happening here. Um, with the Queen of Wands and the Sun card reversed, this Leo may tell you that they're not happy, and this is what I feel like. They left you out in the cold and you may be questioning this person like, okay, so why didn't you just tell me what you were feeling? 
and they may tell you that they weren't happy here with the sun being reversed and they didn't know how to fix the situation so they stopped talking they pulled back you've been finding it hard to move forward and manifest anything with this person it's just like their attitude has been really off and i feel like you have some of you have been questioning this person if you're dealing with the leo and they just weren't being honest with you they weren't telling you what was going on with them or what they were feeling and thinking some of you are a libra dealing with the leo or a virgo or a gemini dealing with the leo so take it how it resonates but there is some changes coming to that situation all right let's get one more i know i just said that right <laughs> i just said let's get one more all right so we're really going to get one more and then we're going to jump into the finance and career portion of your reading okay so someone is going to come and try to make up with you because they feel like it's really over they don't know what else to do about the situation with the seven of cups in the world so just expect some communication from this person possibly a text message or however they can communicate with you because they've been thinking about the situation it could be a virgo you're dealing with so you may be a virgo dealing with a scorpio Flip and reverse the energy, how it's happening in your situation. But with the five of swords reversed, this person doesn't want to fight anymore. So if you're a Scorpio dealing with a Virgo, they don't want to, they don't want to fight. They don't know how to fix it though. The seven of cups is here. So they're like, okay, what are my options? How do I fix this? How do I get us back on track? Um, but they don't, I don't, I just don't feel like this person wants it to be over, but they feel like you're either the Virgo wants it to be over and is walking away or either the Scorpio wants it to be over and is walking away from this and someone is going to come in and try to stop it because of this five of swords being reversed I'm hearing ceasefire <laughs> like they don't they don't want this this these arguments anymore they don't want this drama they're ready to make peace okay all right let me just move out some of these cards here and let's see what finance and career messages is coming in for this retrograde i didn't mean for this reading to be this long but it's cool spare what messages do you have for the collective for this mercury retrograde what finance and career messages what can they expect what is going on here what do they need to know unfulfilled not the right career for you some of you are wanting more you're at a job right now and you're not satisfied so some of you may just get up and go to work and you're just like i don't want to be here like i'm not it's this job is not fulfilling me this may be something that just pays the bills we have start over, look for new opportunities, let it go and move on. Some of you are wanting to do that and the universe is saying new doors are opening up for you now and there's new opportunities coming your way. So if you're thinking about getting a new job and a new position, the universe is saying now is the time to start over. So some of you may be even feeling that. Like you're like, okay, when this new year come in, I'm not gonna be at this job much longer. Like I'm looking for something now. We have thirst for more and manifesting independence. It's time to go out on your own and create your own business so some of you may be thinking about creating a business or you're manifesting this you have the power to manifest what you want yeah you just feel like you're not getting paid enough you're like i know that i can get paid if i work another job or if i go in a different direction we have hard climb can't seem to move up and you feel like it's difficult to make ends meet and i feel like some of you are being pushed in a different direction here Yeah, the universe is pushing you in a different direction. Just go with it. I'm hearing you're being held back from taking your life to the next level because there's opportunities out there and you're just not sure which way to go. And the universe is saying, make a move here. You may feel like you're overworked at this job and they just don't pay you enough. There's too many expectations, but no compensation. Why am I seeing someone just throwing work on your desk? 
and expecting you to do it, but not giving you an explanation of what needs to be done. It's like you're you're inundated with paperwork, some of you. Someone delegates things to you, but they don't tell you like what needs to be done. They just leave it for you to figure out. And when something go wrong, it's like you're the blame for it. And you just, you're tired of being the scapegoat. We have plotting, get rich quick schemes. Make sure you don't get involved with any bad investments. Think long term, not short term. And then we also have drama. Beware of troublemakers in the workplace. But there is good luck coming your way and success here. Some of you may need to um, go back to school or take a class, get certified in something. The path you are on will bring you success and prosperity if you just trust and keep going. There's lots of little steps along the way, but you're on the right track. And we have good luck. Your fortune is improving and you will get a lucky break soon. Yeah, so for some of you, just beware of a boss or, or a supervisor or manager that may be like riding your back a lot. Maybe this person stands over top of you while you do your work or they're always um, just bothering you. They call out things that you do wrong, but they don't see what you do right. Or they don't see the good that you do. Yeah, you may need to take a class or do research to find a better position here. So some of you are like really wanting to get out of this job here. And I feel like the universe is going to help you do it. Why am I hearing you're too complacent and comfortable? And nothing's happening for you. And that's not what the universe wants for you. It's time for you to chase your dreams and put some muscle behind these goals you have. A lot of you have goals and you have something that you want to do, but you're just like confused on where to get, uh, how to get started. Or I'm hearing do some, home, do your homework. Like if you have a business goal in mind and you're like, okay, I know I'm good at this, but I don't know how to do it. I'm hearing do your homework on this. Look it up, whatever it is. Uh, start start branding something like give it a name. A lot of little steps will take you a long way or get you started. Some of you are going to be leaving your job or, oh, okay, unpaid bills. All right. So some of you are going to be leaving a job, but you feel like right now you can't do it because you have a lot of unpaid bills. It's like you want to cut ties with the situation because there's a lot of disloyal people. There's enemies at work. You're feeling cheated out of your earnings. Some of you feel like you should have gotten a better bonus. And so you may be like, you know what? I don't even really want to do any work. <laughs> like, I just want to show up and do. do I, I feel like some of you are doing the bare minimal. You're doing the bare minimal. The bare minimum, I'm sorry, is what I meant to say. Because you feel like you should have gotten a better raise or, or a better bonus. All right, let's get one more. Yeah, some of you may have even been passed over for a promotion. So we have overlooked. We have networking. Not enough people know about you and who you are and what you have to offer. Connect with like-minded people. Be seen and be heard. So some of you need to step out in front of a situation. I feel like you help a lot of people at work. And people and like the, the supervisors and the managers and the boss don't know that people come to your desk and ask you for advice or information. You may help people complete a project or something that they're working on and, and no one even knows that you're the one that's doing it like you're the smart one. And then we have offerings. You will be offered a new position or an investment opportunity. Think about it, research it and go for it. Yeah, because there's more money coming out of it. Some of you may get a position where you don't really, this is not even the work that you do, but you're going to thrive in this situation. Okay. So those are the messages that I have for you guys. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.